Bye. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, your daily cryptocurrency and blockchain aggregated news show on YouTube. Look, look. They're going to be drinking. Look, look. Smoking. Look, look. Swearing. So, look, you have been warned. Is there coming? Three. Look, look. Two. Look, look. One. Bye. Welcome, everyone. My name is Shamar Clark. Welcome to Cryptocurrency Blockchain News, the greatest show on earth, the greatest show in the multiverse. Yes, it is. Yes, it is, brothers and sisters. You know it. That's why you're here. Bye. Yes. To the greatness. <laughs> All right. All right. Well, let me give you some, man. Look. So we're going to talk about, we have a great show for you today. Bang. Yeah, let me get my shit in order. Oh. And so, first of all, so we got a package, bang, 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 in the cryptocurrency blockchain post office box. We're going to open it. I've already opened it, actually. I've already looked. But we're going to open it, and bang, we're going to see it's from DP Entertainment. Bang. Yeah. So we're going to talk about that when we get to, I don't know, probably at the shout outs part. Yeah, when I bring up DP's name, we're going to talk about it. It's from him. Look, look. So, but the story's tonight. Bang. Yeah, yeah. Money generating, well, here it goes. <laughs> Eternity, Eternity, that one that we, it's always in the, the, the top, uh, the gainers and losers um, part of the show. Yeah, well, they're going to be used to track weed in Uruguay. Bang! Revenue generation, buddy. I don't care how you make it. As long as you make it. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck if a cartel uses V-Chain to track their cocaine from the fucking field to, to the American consumer. It generates revenue, doesn't it? Bang! That's how we're going to talk about it. <laughs> give a shit. Whoop. And then, oh, bad news. All right, so I got to get fueled, so I'm in a good mood. Actually, I'm in a good mood because some stuff's going to go down tonight and the market's probably... Look, look. UK regulators want to ban crypto derivatives. I know, I know. But we're going to talk about that. And don't worry, that's not the end of everything because we've talked about the UK the other day. Well, I'll just... So there's a, a twist to it. So stick around for that story. There's a twist. Don't worry, all is not lost. And then finally, Six launches a digital exchange prototype. So, you know, Six is the Swiss stock exchange. They've launched a digital prototype. Bang! Yes! And we're going to read about that. Then we'll do the shout outs and daily summary. So, let's begin how we begin, brothers. Bang! Look, look! Bang! Yes! With a refresh. Let me get my beverages. He's big boy, motherfucker. All right, look, look. One second. Uh, many, many, there's many reasons that a lot of people are giving a lot of speculation on why we went down so badly recently, well, in the past couple of days. Did I talk about this yesterday already? Right, the 30% hash rate crash in Bitcoin. Also, uh, when it started going down, well, psh, a lot of dudes got shorted. Oh, sorry, stopped out on BitMEX. Holy, I don't even remember the number. I think it was something like, it was something stupid, like like $100 million worth of BitMEX trades got bang, 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 stopped out. <laughs> Those boys got Slaughtered. Anyways, like I told you yesterday, guys, we don't give a fuck about the price yet. Yes. Not yet. Look, look. Oh, so Bitcoin price of the day. Let's do this. How we do this. Bitcoin price today is $8,432. And Bitcoin price yesterday was, well, $8,444. So look, look. The market is tanked. We went down a whole $12. <laughs> These crypto sites, they're so lame. They're always like, it's tanking. It's roaring. It's in. Right? They're always so hyper. Like, settle down, nerds. All right. So we tanked for $12 today. All right. Just having fun, guys. Look, look. Top 10 of the day, brothers. You know what it is. Usual suspects, brothers. <laughs> Bitcoin, Ethereum, Tether. Or, sorry, Bitcoin, Ethereum, XRP, Tether, Bitcoin Cash, Litecoin, EOS, 
Binance Coin, Bitcoin SV, and Stellar. Let's look who what the market moves of the day are, brothers. Oh, there's green today. Oh, I didn't even realize that, actually. <laughs> okay. So, single dudes up, single dudes down. We're back to the same old song, brothers. I hope you guys went and got those sales yesterday. I mean, they're still going on. There's only, you know, only 1%, 2% up, 3%, 5% up. So, you know, yesterday when we looked at stuff, everything was like 12%, 15% down. So, the sales, the sales are still occurring. Go get yourself some goods. Look, look, brothers. Mark moves the day, brothers. Single digits up, single digits down. Brothers and sisters, black, white, gay, straight, Christian, Muslim, Jew. Single digits up, single digits down. Yeah. Single digits up, single digits down, brothers. And the rest of you. <laughs> yeah. Single this up, single this down. Lady BBC coin, look at you. What was that? Oh, that was that fake Alibaba thing. All right, single this up, single this down. All right. Let's look at the top 10 losers of the day, brothers. You know what to do. You see any here on anything on here you like, you go get that shit. Because it's on sale, homeboy. <laughs> Top 10 losers of the day, brothers. Aurora, Algorand, Carrot Gold Coin, Bike Coin, Lambda, Icon, Monero, Stasis Euro. Who are we talking at? Argo. Let's see who made money today, brothers. Bye. Whoa, whoa. Where's the bang? Oh, there it is. Yes. Thought we were going bang free for a second. Look, look. <laughs> look, look. Top 10 winners of the day, brothers. Loom Network, ABBC Coin. Uh, Cryptarium, Factum. Oh, there's that Factum. Uh, X Max, Elf, Ox, Stellar, Digibyte, and Nexo. All right, let's look at total mark cap of day, brothers. Rush. What do we got? Was that 221.6? Yeah. All right. Total mark cap of day, brothers. 221.6 billion. In case I needed to tell you <laughs> so and yesterday when i left you we were at 220 even so we've went up a whole 1.6 billion dollars today not much of a move at all all right look look total volume in the day brothers was that 63.8 what oh my gosh all right right that was an anomaly so i see all right so let's talk about this. so we're at 63.8 today when I left you yesterday, we were at 98.7. 98.7. We're at 63.8 today. Huge. Huge drop in volume. But really what that shows me is yesterday's crashing that we went down. Not like crash. I should stop saying that. The losses we took yesterday were for some a, a big influx of dudes. <laughs> I don't know if they were shorting somehow, somewhere, or something, but some something big happened yesterday. $98.7 billion in total volume yesterday. We're only at 63.8 today, brothers and sisters. Fuck, hold on. Let me just take a quick peek at something. Right? So we're at 98.7 yesterday. Hold on. Let me just look at the volumes just for the little while, right? Okay, hold on. 59, 54, 64, 68, 63, 54. So uh, 45, 49, 50, 63, 50. All right, so you see, we've been at the, we've been between 49 and 63 in volume every single day. So yesterday's super rise, 98.7. So we almost doubled volume yesterday. Um, what does it mean, Shamari? That's a good question, brother. I got to find out. But all I'm going to tell you is that's the anomaly. All of these, all of this, all of, all the days we've, you know, that I can see for this year. So, I mean, these aren't all the, for this year, but everything is between 49. The lowest I see here is 49. And then the highest I see is 68 so far. I mean, you know, and so 98, look, look, there was a big explosion in volume yesterday. 
And that's what took down the market heavy yesterday, right? All right. I mean, like I said, we don't give a fuck about the prices yet. Bye. There's a tsunami coming. So, bye. That's what we're waiting for. But, you know, I like to do the detective work to find out why, right? Why? Why? All right. Look, look. Let's move on. All right. Bye. Eternity blockchain will be used to track cannabis in Uruguay. Yes. A little cannabis. A little bit of marijuana. A little ganja. A little daga roots. Look, look. We know about blood clot ganja, boy. Look, look. Hmm? We don't want to smoke some blood clot reefer. Hmm? We don't want some blood clot reefer. Well, if you want some reefer, looks like Eternity will get it to you. <laughs> look, look, safe and sound. It'll get you a reefer. <laughs> reefer. <laughs> That's like some 1960s way of talking about. Look, look. Stay away from that reefer boy. <laughs> Look, look. Watch out for that reefer, boy. It's that gateway drug right there. Fuck all that. Look around these parts. We are reefer friendly. Look, look. Smoke them if you got them. Look. Let's talk about Eternity Blockchain, brothers. Look, look. Oh, I should have rolled a joint and smoked it while I was reading this. That would have been fun. Yeah, but I wouldn't have got through the rest of the show, probably. <laughs> I'd do something stupid like the other day when the blackout came and I smoked that joint and I almost read the same story to you twice. <laughs> look, look, brothers. That's how it goes, brothers. That's how it goes. Get those trades in before you smoke that reefer. <laughs> All right, brothers. All right. That's a little tip. That's a little pro tip right there. That's a little pro tip. You're going to get to trading. Smoke that reefer first. Look. Get rid of that quick. Yeah, so then hurry up and wait. You smoke that shit first, buddies. Yeesh. Yeesh. <laughs> All right, guys. But oh, but also, but okay, seriously, seriously. We're having fun with this. Settle down, brothers. You're having too much fun now, though. We're having fun, but you're having too much. So settle down now. Settle down. All right. Calm down, brothers. Let's get to work here. So what I bring this up, the Eternity blockchain, well, it's making money, and you know how the show works. I don't give a fuck how you make your money. Like I said, I don't give a fuck. If they want to track cocaine for the fucking Mexican cartel, as long as you're getting revenue, good, good. We're going to talk about it here. <laughs> but that's so unethical, Shamari. Look, brother, I'm not here for ethics. I'm here for straight cash, homie. <laughs> oh, man, we're having a good night tonight. Look, brothers. I'm getting a contact high just from reading this shit. Look. All right, one more. Fuck this. Let's go. All right, seriously, though. Oh, my gosh. That was so funny. Attorney blockchain will be used to track cannabis in Uruguay. Yes. Yes, look at those lovely leaves. Yes, look at the lovely leaves. Look. All right. Decentralized application, DApp focused blockchain, Eternity, will be used to track the supply chain of Montevideo based medical and recreational blood clot ganja cannabis. <laughs> Producer Uruguay can. Yes. Look, look. Eternity announced in a press release published on September 25th that it is creating a supply chain management platform. For the partner, combining the Internet of Things, oh, IoT, and the apps. Yes. Eternity America CEO Pablo Querolo explained. Oh, so CEO Pablo Querolo explained. This is what he explained, guys. Here comes the explanation. We want to be the first to offer a business-level solution in partnership with leading technology providers and cannabis producers. Yes. Processors. Yes. And distributors. Oh, distribute it to me, brothers. Look, look. Certainly, <laughs> certainly technology is ideal for tracking the entire cannabis production process from seed to full plant growth throughout the entire supply chain. Oh, supply me, which ensures consumer safety while complying with regulations. Look, we know we're safe. Just make sure that shit's good. <laughs> make sure it's good. Look, look. I like a little indica. 
A little indica at night, a little sativa during the day. That's how it goes, brothers. Look, you're going to do a little smoking. Look. You guys know I used to be a medical marijuana activist in San Francisco. I used to work at the uh, the Axis of Love. Not work there, I was a volunteer. Look, let me tell you something. You're going to do a daytime smoke? Look, brothers, just smoke that sativa. Yeah, yeah, sativa. Those are your hazes. That's your sour diesels. So you can smoke, but still do stuff. <laughs> got to get to work, got to do chores. You know, the wife is making you do stuff. You can still do stuff. Clean the gutters, do what you got to do. And then at night, yes, brothers, that's when you get your hard indica. Your hard indica. That's that good nighttime stuff right there. That's that, that's that Gorilla Glue stuff right there. Yeah. You know what I mean? Stuff like that. Get that indica for nighttime. So, simple rule, brothers and sisters, boys and girls. Yes. I don't know if I should be teaching the kids this, but look, kids. Daytime, you smoke a sativa. Nighttime, bang. That's when you get your indica. All that hybrid shit, well, that's on you. Look, look. Just saying. I'm a little bit of a connoisseur, I must say. I should show you the bags of weed I have right here. I got a, I got a, like a quarter pound of weed right here. <laughs> I should show you. But I might get in trouble if I show weed on YouTube. Nah. Should I? Nah. Okay, look, look. Look. So, a progressive country. Uruguay became the world's first country, and I have Gorilla Glue. It's right there. Big old bag of it. Europe gave the, first, the world's first country to completely legalize cannabis production in sale and sale. All right. You're reading like you're already smoking. Nah, dog. Nah, dog. Not yet. That's why if I did smoke, it would be even worse. Look. Production sale in December 2013. The first phase of supply chain management system implementation will take place in October. Oh. Oh, like right around the corner? This is about to start. And is expected to be completed in January 2020. Oh, you guys are getting going right now. Oh, but then full implementation is planned for mid-2021. All right. So look, look. Going to get that weed on the blockchain. Remember we read about the V-Chain beef? Look, look. Blockchain-empowered beef. <laughs> look, brothers. It's going to be some blockchain-empowered ganja, marijuana, cannabis, reefer <laughs> in Uruguay. Look, Uruguay can CEO Eduardo Blasina commented on the development. All right, well, this is what he's talking about. He's talking about we're proud to be the first company in Uruguay that can guarantee the quality of our products in a transparent and verifiable way. Yes. Well, so I wouldn't mind if you used that V-chain on that weed. Look, look. The ability to trace the source and the way cannabis is produced is beneficial for both the cannabis and pharmaceutical industry as well as its consumers and end users. Yes, end users, fuck sticks. Look, it's all about the end user, us, <laughs> who should feel more secure about the product that they're consuming. Nice, nice. Look, look, as Cointelegraph reported earlier this month, also blockchain tracking startup True Trace Technologies, Inc. is partnered with big four auditing firm Deloitte. What? To, to, to track cannabis? <laughs> you didn't read this story, dog? Nah, not all the way down here. Oh, my gosh. Look, guys. Deloitte is going to track <laughs> cannabis. Look, look. Fuck. Holy. I'm tempted. I want to show you guys. Mm. Mm. All right. But look, look. So, all right. Let's just stay with this. Because I don't want to get in trouble. You know, it's one thing to show you a joint. But if I show you bags of weed, then the cops could be like, oh, fuck, oh, we can come here and get this guy. So look, Eternity blockchain will be used to track cannabis in Uruguay. Bang, Eternity. So Eternity hodlers, bang, Eternity lovers, lovers, bang. Yes, and cannabis lovers. There you go. There you go. Last weed, last year, last weed. <laughs> last year, I used to make the joke. The, uh, I used to always. <laughs> Man, I'm in a giggly mood. I used to always make the joke about, look, I don't want to hear any of my subscribers invested in hemp coin or some bullshit. Revenue generating, bang, bang, bang. But look, look, if you love that hemp, you love that weed, 
You love the ganja. You love the cannabis. Look, look, you love that reefer. <laughs> Invest in eternity blockchain. Not telling you what to buy, but just my opinion. Bye. Look. All right. Oh, that's such a good story. Now I got to talk about this crap. Oh, I should have put this story second instead of this, because now I got to talk about this. All right. Look, look. Bye. All right, fuck sticks. Man, I want to get back to that weed. Weed, man, dog. Look, look. Yo. Look. All right, guys. The UK regulars, regulators. Oh, speaking of regulators. So look, look, brothers. I got a video of the um, the SEC had a video. Sorry. All right. Let me let me hold on, man. I'm happy, man. I'm happy. The um, the House uh, Financial Services Committee had a hearing. The House is our lower chamber of parliament. If you have a parliamentary system, it's like the lower chamber of parliament. So the House, they uh, they had a meeting, not a meeting, a hearing of, uh, about overseeing the SEC. And so in it, they talked about cryptocurrency a few times. And so I'm going to post that video and I have timestamps for you to help you. I mean, I think you should just watch the whole thing. They talk about money laundering. They talk about all this other stuff, but I know you're here for crypto and this is a crypto show. So, and I'm going to give you guys, I'll put the timestamps for the crypto on it and you can watch what, these are what our American politicians are talking about. And like I told you from last year, yeah, man, the Republicans, they're down with crypto. Yeah, they want innovation. They want people to make money, right? That's how Republicans are. They're about money. You know, they're, they, I always told you, I used to tell you guys this last year. Republicans are those who, the Republicans fight and do their regulating, uh, not regulating, let me calm down. They fight for those who sign the front of the check, right? Democrats fight for those who sign the back of the check. You understand what that means, right? The boss signs the front, the worker signs the back. And so whenever there's some big money talk to happen, you need the Republicans because they'll fight to get it done, right? Democrats may fight for worker bees. I mean, which is good, which is good. I'm not dissing that, but I'm just saying, but they also have a hatred for those who sign the front of the check. Now, we can, we can have two. We can have... You know, a, a good capitalist system where a company is generating good revenues, and we can also treat the workers in an equitable manner. I mean, I agree with that. I agree with. I think every worker should be a, on a fucking union. Personally, yeah, yeah, Bernie Sanders style. I'm down with that. I'm down with that. You know, but the company has to make money. You know, like, but I'm not down with you fucking over money generation. You know what I'm saying? Like. But I'm down with, yeah, help those workers. Give them health care, give them shit for their kids. You know, whatever union guys get when they are in a union, right? So that's what we good, what was good about today is we saw that the Republicans, yeah, they were all like, look, look. One Republican, <laughs> one Republican was like, look, fuckstick. I mean, he didn't use Shamari language. But when you've watched enough hearings, you understand he was using that language. He was like, come on. Do we need to regulate this or are you going to regulate this? In other words, let's get this thing going. And so I'm hoping we get some regulation. Thanks to Mark Zuckerberg. Um, Zuckerberg's coming out with his thing in next year. And so the politicians here are not afraid, but they're just not the word. The word's not afraid, but just they want to regulate before he comes out with his, right? The Democrats especially because they don't like more big money guys making big more money. And so... Um, that's fine. The Republicans will oblige that. Let's regulate. And so that's why I say I always thank God, Mark Zuckerberg, because I think we'll get it. I hope we do. I mean, I could be fucking completely, absolutely wrong, but I hope we do get regulated by Q3 next year. Like, I mean, full. And that's why I want you to guys. I'm going to show you the video and you'll notice in our 244. Yeah, the guy is like, look. Like, they want full regulation here in America. Oh, and that's the other thing I wanted to just say. I know I'm yap-yapping, guys, but this is important. Obviously, it's America, homeboy. Look! Um, the Republicans, they figured it out. Remember I was telling you about Jack Carney in, uh, in, uh, in, in Europe, in uh, England? 
yeah, the England guys, they made a distinction. There's a difference between cryptocurrency, Bitcoin, Litecoin, Monero, Bitcoin Cash, Zcash, I don't know, whatever else, you know, that are made to be money, right? They're trying, Dash, right? They're trying to be money and other stuff, right? Which uh, the, the Europeans, or sorry, the British call them utility tokens. And it was good to see today that the American regulator, oh, well, they're not regulators, but a lot of some, let me not exaggerate, some of the American politicians made the distinction between cryptocurrency, shit that's made to be money, and just companies, you know, utility tokens. You use their token for whatever, right? To pay for your distributed app or whatever, however it works. You know, like that. And so I'm going to pin that tonight to the comments so you guys can watch it. Yeah, you should watch that. I mean, you should really watch the whole video. Well, yeah. Uh, <sighs> all right look oh and so now we're getting to and so now let's talk about this so uk regulators are attempting to ban crypto derivatives coin shares fights back so coin shares is fighting back also coinbase is fighting back so the uk regulators they want to attempt they want to ban crypto derivatives but for uh individual consumers they're not banning it for institutions. Well, that's not the plan. They haven't done anything yet. So this is a, a thing about banning derivatives, you know, for the average person, for soccer mom and dad. And it's the same old story. Well, soccer mom and dad doesn't understand. Soccer mom and dad can get ripped off. We don't want to let them get ripped off. Actually, I don't give a fuck. If you ban it for soccer mom and dad, I don't give a shit. Uh, we we need bye. <laughs> we need institutions in here. We can get that soccer mom and dad shit later when Fidelity starts beating them over the head <laughs> with crypto four hundred one k's and stuff. <laughs> We'll let Fidelity hand or soccer mom and dad, but for now, we need we want institutional money. Well, we want all the money, I mean. Look, look. All right, let's go on, brothers. So coin shares. So uh I, and I want to tell you the guys this. Coinbase is doing this same thing that this coin shares thing is doing. I'm not going to ruin the story yet, but I'll, I'll show you in a second. CoinShares is responding to UK regulators over a potential. So it's not for sure, but it's a potential ban. A potential ban of various crypto products. The London-based digital asset management firm, which provides financial products and services for professional investors, says the UK regulators are cherry-picking information about cryptocurrencies to cobble together enough enough ammunition to stop the sale of certain investment products that reference crypto assets. So what they're saying is, you know, the FCA came out with this thing, uh, uh, this report. <clears throat> yeah, and they, well, I mean, I'm just going to kind of repeat. They cherry picked a bunch of shit, you know, um, in the markets. Like, for instance, yeah, the 2017 retail frenzy run up whatever you want to call it fomo run up whatever you want to call it and they're like yeah that's why this can't go down because in 2018 it went down you know um it's 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 a little disingenuous because you know you know the market mechanisms that made that happen right like yeah, soccer mom and dad got <laughs> sunshine blown up their ass and came in and bought in and drove it up. Yeah, but those days are over. And so, you know, yeah, and people lost money. It's true, people lost money, but that's, you know, but those days are over now. 
And, you know, using that as the excuse why we can't do this. Why? The stock market pumps and dumps a lot. Yeah, but we still have a stock market, don't we? Like, if you want to look at it that way, you guys get what I'm trying to say? All right, uh, let me move on. I'm, I'm the yappy yapping. Hold on. Let me yappy yapping here. According to CoinShares, the FCA claims investing in crypto assets is too dangerous. But they don't even understand how the, se Sorry. How the sector works. Whatever. In March 2018, the, U the, US gov the UK government launched the Crypto Assets Task Force. The task force. Consisting of HM Treasury, Her Majesty's Treasury, the Queen... Yes, the Queen, the Financial Conduct Authority, the FCCA, and the Bank of England. The task force issued a report in October 2018 that led to further investigation and consideration of banning the sale of crypto products to retail consumers. That's what it's about. So, banning the sale of crypto products to retail consumers to prevent harm from potential sudden and unexpected losses. And this is the, th the shit I was telling you guys yesterday. Right, that's our problem here with the SEC. Like, you keep trying to protect soccer mom and dad. Well, soccer mom and dad has the same fucking internet we do. Soccer mom and dad has the same fucking information everyone else does. If soccer mom and dad bring their fucking money here and we fucking take it, well, too fucking bad. I know. I know. I know what you're saying, brothers. Shmori, dog. It's mean, dog. It's how it is, dog. If I bring my money to the markets, no one's protecting me from someone taking it. That's why I'm a killer. Bye. Yeah, I learned to kill before I put my money in. So if you're going to be a moron and just throw your money in here, all right, well, we're going to take it. And, 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 and that's what's stopping us from getting full market growth in the UK, in the European Union, in Switzerland, in America, is that they want to protect fucking soccer mom and dad from doing stupid shit. Well, you don't protect them from fucking the stock market, do you? You don't protect them from any other market, do you? I mean, they're protecting that they're not cheated. So, yes, we don't want anyone getting cheated. That's the truth. But, yeah, they lose fucking money. And that, uh, tough shit. Tough shit. That's, you want to play with us? Then, that's it. We either make money or lose money. There's only two options. I'm a market killer. I either make it or I lose it. <laughs> yeah, you want to be a market killer? Well, all right. Well, you're going to make it or lose it, fuck stick. Ah. Yeah, that's your kid's fucking college fund. Well, you shouldn't have fucking come here if you didn't know what you were doing, fucker. You know, like, all right, all right, let me, all right, all right, hold on. <laughs> right, let me calm down. But you see what I'm saying? Right? They want to protect, but they want to prevent harm from potential sudden and unexpected losses. So what do you mean? You're never going to let them in? There's unexpected losses in the stock market. Here, let me let me bang this fucking shit right here too again. Bye. Look. There's harm from potential sudden and unexpected losses in the stock market, isn't there? Yeah, but you're letting them in, aren't you? Yeah. Right? You want to trade options? Yeah, you can get fucked over. Look, you want to come in the forex market? I'll clean your I'll clean your fucking clock right here. <laughs> Yes, and I will. Right? Like, it's like they're trying to protect these people in that, well, only if they can make money. Well, that's why it's called investing. That's why it's called speculation. We don't know if we're going to make money. I'm a speculator. I'm a derivatives. I'm a derivatives forex trader. 80% of the time I make money. Yeah, well, 20% of the time I get thrashed. <laughs> thrashed right and so well how, how do you keep winning yeah because i know what i'm doing right and so if these fuck sticks come here and they don't know what they're doing well fuck them you deserve to lose your money uh, all right all right hold on uh, am i pre this has been a long time all right let's move on though but do you see what I'm saying, guys? Because I'm getting very angry. I, so, look, man, I, I got to say this, though. Fuck this shit. Look, I understand you don't want your people to be cheated. That's one thing. I told you about in the Forex market. 
when I used to when I first started, guys were getting cheated out of their money. That's different. We don't want anyone cheated. But if you come here and you lose money, well, tough. Because you're not cheated. You you took the wrong side of the trade. You went long when it went short. <laughs> you know, I mean, I don't know what else there is to tell you. You know? And so the FCA and the SEC here in America, oh, I'm going to show you that fucking SEC thing. I'm going to show you that fucking shit right now tonight. I'm going to fucking post that shit right in the comments, and you better all watch it. I'm going to put the fucking, what am I going to put? I'm going to show you right now. All right, all right, let me calm down. Hold on, let me, now I'm getting hyped. And I'm going to put the timestamps in. Exactly, even the Republicans were like, look, man, just fucking regulate. And let it be up to the citizen whether they want to enter this market or not. Look, it's called the magic of the markets. <laughs> the magic of the markets, brothers. The markets will sort themselves out. Magic markets will sort themselves out. All right, all right. I'm, I'm sorry, guys. I know, I know. I yap, yap right there. Yes, I yap, yap. I owe you all a drink for having to listen to that shit. But seriously, though, we have Noah Fest. I owe you all a drink. But seriously, guys. Well, there's going to be drinks here anyway. It's not going to matter. <laughs> be catered. But seriously, do you see what I'm saying? You know, these guys, these regulators want to, we want to protect our citizens from this new asset class. But there's there's more committee places that, it is true. It's true. But just let it happen. People, you know, like I said yesterday, you know, you want to make an omelet. Well, you got to break a few eggs. But then at the end of it, that's a daggone tasty Western omelet at the end of that motherfucker, isn't there? Ah, when you see that on the plate, a couple slices of oranges, a couple strawberries garnished, ah, little parsley on top. Look, look. It's one fine omelet. A couple slices of toast. Look. That's what it'll end up being. Good omelet with some toast and garnish. But you got to break those eggs first. Got to break those eggs first. Look. The proposed ban would include the sale. Oh, okay. We're st so the proposed, uh, let's talk it slowly so we can get this. The proposed ban would include the sale, marketing, and distribution of derivatives, i.e. contracts for difference, options, and futures. They, they don't want soccer mom and dad to get any of this shit. And exchange traded notes. I'm, assume, I'm assuming that's ETFs, but I could be wrong. And if I'm wrong, just tell me in the comments. Because I like to learn that kind of stuff. Actually, I should just go learn what an exchange traded note is. So that reference certain types of crypto assets to all retail consumers by firms in or from the UK. Yeesh. All right. So here's all this jaga bra here. All right. So let's just read this. According to the report, as the CATF report found, we consider that retail consumers cannot reliably assess value and risks of derivatives. They can't? What, they don't have a brain? Their head, you're saying their head is just for holding their hair? Look, if you choose wrong, all right, hold on, man. So you see they're protecting soccer mom and dad hardcore. <laughs> so look, they're saying that the retail consumers cannot reliably assess. Who says that? They have brains, don't they? They can read books, can't they? What the fuck are you talking about? The value and risks of derivatives and exchange traded products. That reference certain crypto assets. This is due to the, and this is why they say that a, a, a retail consumer can't figure it out. I mean, look, if you're a retail consumer, figure this out, fuckstick. If it's generating revenue, buy. Buy it. If not, don't. <laughs> there you go. That's, I mean, I don't know how much, this isn't rocket science what we're doing here. And so, oh, and so I'm not going to read all this bullshit here. So if you guys want to do read it, or do want to read it, you want to do read it. That's pretty funny. If you do want to read it, 
Uh, you know, I put the links to the video, uh, these stories and that in the uh, description of the videos every day. All right, look. Look, so the consultation closes on Thursday, October 3rd. In light of the deadline and the looming threat to its business, CoinShares, which sells crypto ETNs, has responded to regulators in an open letter. And here's their letter. Oh, all right, hold on. So in addition to <laughs> a lack of knowledge about the sector, the company says regulators have insufficient evidence and lack of proof to bolster their claims against crypto-based products. Exactly. We believe, and so this is the letter, Fox Lake. All right, look, we believe that the FSA, FCA has not provided sufficient evidence to justify the proposed ban. A ban? You know, like a ban. You know, that's crazy. I can understand if you want to say, all right, we're not going to let you guys have leverage. I mean, that happened to me. I told you guys that. You guys know I'm a Forex trader. When I first started trading Forex 19 years ago, I had 400 to 1 leverage. Oh, yeah. I'd make a $200 trade. I'd make over a G. Yeah. But then after the housing crash, we had what the politicians here in America came up with this shit called Dodds-Frank. The Dodds-Frank Act. Yeesh. And that fucking chopped me right down to 50 to 1 leverage. <laughs> From 400. Yeah, dogs like that. And we're forks, guys. Like, what do we have to do with your housing crash? Yeah, that's what I'm telling you. The Democrats, that was under Obama. Democrats, if you make if your money makes you money, they don't like you. They want you to go and work hard. You know, they want you to, you know, be a working hard, you know, fuck shit like this. If your money makes you money, they don't like you. Mm. So here's the shit the guy said. We believe that the FCA has not provided sufficient evidence to justify the proposed ban. Yeah, what are you banning it for? Uh, through its consultations, the regulator makes little attempt to genuinely evidence its claims and instead cherry picks data sets in order to illustrate its perception of crypto assets. ETNs and the perceptive harm and the FCA believes these products cause. More broadly, the FCA's analysis on cryptocurrencies or crypto assets and these associated instruments. Oh my gosh, am I hiccuping? Hold on. Uh, demonstrates a lack of understanding of their functionality, value, and the motivations for why an investor might seek out such products. Exactly. You know, they, they keep, I told you, I mean, we keep talking about it. I know it's ad nauseum, Shmar, you keep fucking saying this bullshit. You keep saying this bullshit, but it's like, you know, all right. Like, we talked, I know, you keep saying it, so let's just say it again real quick. Bitcoin, Litecoin, Ethereum, Bitcoin Cash, Monero, Zcash, those are cryptocurrencies, okay? The rest of the shit are not cryptocurrencies. They are blockchain services providers. They provide companies with efficiencies. I don't know, like VeChain, track your stuff for you. You know, uh, Stellar, help you move money around through the banks. Well, plus they do a lot of other shit too. Distributed apps get made on Ethereum, on Tron, on EOS. You know, like those aren't cryptocurrencies. Those aren't money. And so that's why I'm angry. <laughs> But, but, and so, and, and that's what I told you guys today, that, that video that I'm going to post tonight, you'll see they, they're getting it now. They're getting it. The difference between the currency part, Bitcoin trying to be money and these others that are just blockchains, you know, that are doing stuff, providing efficiencies and, uh, you know, like we've talked about savings, cost savings and whatever they do, right? Like whatever they do, I don't know. All right, so CoinShares has provided a template for supporters who want to help fight the proposals by sending the task force a written response. So they have this shit, you can sign it and you can email it and it goes there. 
the language, blah, blah, blah. Oh, and this is the response letter. Anyways, fuck all that. Uh, if you want to check out the full letter, you can check down here. We're not going to read all this crap. That does not matter to us. Look! But that's the UK, man. So while you might be hearing about, so why I bring this up is, you might be hearing about the UK banning derivatives and stuff. Well, we're obviously reading it, but it's for the retailers. They don't want soccer mom and dad to get hurt, which is fine. But come on, man. Like, all right. So that's what it's about. That's what it's about. Okay. But they're going to allow institutional investors to arrive. So, and that's what, bye. We're waiting for a tsunami. A tsunami is not coming from soccer mom and dad. The tsunami is coming from institutional investors. Bye. Yes. And that's what we're waiting for. And as long as the UK continues to allow these institutional investors to arrive with institutional grade regulated product, bye. Good enough for us. We'll worry about soccer mom and dad later. All right. <laughs> that's kind of what I'm trying to say. Let's get this big money in first. And then we'll worry about, you know, you know what I'm talking about. All right. You get it? All right, look. So Swiss Stock Exchange 6 launched digital asset exchange prototype. Bye, look, look. Swiss Bank Exchange 6 has launched a pilot version of its exchange and Central Securities Depository, CSD, for digital assets. Look, the prototype platform launched under its digital assets subsidiary, 6 Digital Exchange, SDX, is expected to see more functionality added as it approaches a full launch slated for Q4 2020, according to an announcement emailed to Coindesk on Monday. All right. So the platform, as it stands, is aimed to showcase the future of financial markets, as well as obtain feedback from early testers. SDX further said, it intends to show that a distributed ledger technology, DLT-based CSD, uh, you know, central securities depository, can be integrated with a central order book stock exchange model to ensure fair market conditions for all. In other words, you know, like here in America, we got the NASDAQ. We have the, they're saying, yeah, we can do the same thing. We can do a NASDAQ of this shit. That was a lot, a long way to say it. <laughs> so, Thomas Eeb, chairman of SDX and member of SX, six is exit, a little, 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 all right. Six is executive board said, the launch of this prototype is a major milestone in creating a credible digital infrastructure for moving our industry forward. We're now one step closer to demonstrating the viability of our vision for the financial markets of the future and ultimately for the way people and businesses Access capital. Yes. So look, look. Early functionality of the platform for test cases will cover issuance of digital security tokens, live trading, and instant settlement. Hmm. This will include the cash leg of the transaction, embracing the concept of a payment token, as well as access to a distributed product uh, portal where it would be possible to monitor transactions across specific DLT member nodes. All right, whatever. Uh, SDX's trading facility will be similar to the SIX infrastructure uh, with no counterparty risk or requirement for default uh, fund collateral at a central counterparty. Uh, collateral, anyways. This implies that if the buy and sell side have the necessary cash and assets to fulfill a trade, settlements will occur instantly. Buy. So phase two of the prototype is expected to be ready in coming months. And we'll take in feedback from this initial phase. It will also add the first post-trade and digital custody functionality. Custody, according to SDX. Exchange users will be able to hold their assets on the SDX in a distributed way with assets through the use of a private key. All right. So look, well, I guess that's important. So we should talk about that. 
it looks like they're going to give them their own private keys to their own custody wallet, and then all their little digital assets will be in that wallet, which is an interesting solution to all this problem. All right, look, look, Swiss Stock Exchange sick launches digital asset exchange prototype. Bye, look, bye, look, yeah, look, look. All right, let's do it. Samar, Abbas, love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye, sweetie. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Yeah. Bye, Steven. Oh, long time. You haven't been around here, homeboy. Look, you big man. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Oh, your sweetie again. But what's she talking about? <laughs> what's she talking about? She's got a big long thing here. So look, if you have to, t if you tease the cat too much, then it's going to scratch your back. Oh, it's going to scratch you back. Yes. Low impact info. No impact info. Fl fitting together pieces of a puzzle as big as the globe. Oh, she's talking about the forex stuff. Exactly, sweetie. You got to know what, what's low impact and what's big impact. Guys get twisted, sweetie, when they go to these crazy little websites and some guy's telling them some low impact crap. <laughs> and they're like, oh my gosh. Man, it doesn't mean anything. Don't worry. Go to Forex Factory. You got it. That's the stuff we read every day. So I once believed that $1 billion was a lot of money. Insurance. Daggone right. Daggone right. Uh, she understands. Yes. Hold on. That's why she gets extra. Extra. Yes. Bye. Love you, girl. See you, girl. Bye. Yes. It's kind of go you want. Oh, look, look. Biniam. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. What's he talking about? CB Newswire blockchain platform. Comgo. Partners with Lloyds Bank to streamline trade finance. All right. I haven't read about that, so I have nothing to say. <laughs> Look. You guys like this tweet? All right. Let's see who liked the tweet. Rob. Ert. Bye. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Native warrior. Intelligent, indigenous people of Turtle Island. Oh, yeah, these are the guys. Pasqua Yagui tribe. Bye. The Pasqua Yagui tribe, baby. Bang, bang, bang. Look, look. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bang. DP Entertainment. Oh, and so here it is. All right, so let's open this. Ha <laughs> ha. All right, guys. So DP Entertainment. Boom. He sent a package. Let's see. Let's see. <laughs> I already did look. I admit it. I had to sneak a peek. I had to look. And so he has, it looks like he has some sort of comics. Uh, actually, I didn't look at everything in here. I only, well, just made sure it didn't have something bad in it. <laughs> All right. So let's look at DP Entertainment. So let's look. Actually, hold on. I got to go here so I can see what I'm doing. All right. All right. There we go. All right. So. Actually, let's use this camera. Bang! So, this is the stuff. Yes, yeah, so I have multiple cameras. I only use the one, but... Yeah, we got a whole studio in here, buddies. All right, so... DP, he sent us... All right, let's look at this. Agents of Soul. Agents of Soul, DP Comics. The original issue. What? Look, look, I got an original. What? I know I haven't read it yet, but look at this. The Agents of Soul, and then you see it says, wait, wait, where is it? DP Comics right there. Bang, so he sent the Agents of Soul. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> this looks pretty funny. He's got these like, black people with helmets on. I think this is some sort of army shit or something. <laughs> Look, look, the Caliphate of Love. It's coming soon, brothers. Wars cost money. We'll get there. So he gave me, oh, this is Agents of Soul. Issue number one. Oh. Oh, this is Agent. I don't know what he's saying, man. Fuck. But this one's a good one. Agents of Soul. Hold on, let me get it right up there. 
Agents of Soul, DP Comics, right? It says one people, one cause. Yes. You dig on right. Oh, and he gave me a bunch of issues. I get what he did. All right. And then this is Agents of... Oh. Oh, and he put an F-35? Oh, he knows. Yeah. So Agents of Soul... This is issue number three. Bang. And then we got Agents of Soul. Oh, no, my bad. Issue That was issue number two. Agents of Soul, issue number two. Bye. With the F-35 stealth fighter. And then we have Agents of Soul, number three. Look at this fuck guy. Look at this guy. He's, he's getting shot at. Diving. Yeah, so DP Entertainment. Bang. Thank you, brother. So it's called DP Comics. DP Comics. You see where it says right down there? Right here, DP Comics. Uh, let me get the DP Comics. Bang! Yes. And that's where you can get these. Nice. So I got a few things to read tonight while I'm waiting for my trades to jump off. And then what did he write me? Oh, and he wrote me some handwritten thing here. So let me read it. Appreciate you, brother. Bang! A token of gratitude from DP Comics, a.k.a. DP Entertainment. Bang! That's what it says, brothers. Look, look, brothers. It's how Shamari rolls, brothers. He gets tokens of gratitude. Boom! From comics. Look! From people. That's how it goes, brothers. You do good. You be good. You get some gratitude. Yes. I'm going to read those comics tonight, actually. He sent me fucking three issues. Nice. So it'll be like a full story. Good, good. <laughs> Bang. Thank you, DP. All right, let's get back to this. Bang. All right, so now who are we banging? Wait. Wait. Oh, I'm on the wrong screen. All right, here we are. All right, we got Biddy. In. Oh, oh, spy lady. Bang. See you, girl. Love you, girl. Bang. Yeah. Right, Stir, love your brother, see your brother. Bye. Son of a bitch. Look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Look, look. Bye. Yeah. Love your brother, see your brother. Bye. Moon landing 420, love your brother, see your brother. Bye. Robbie Hardaway, see you, brother. Bye. Yeah. Poppy Wood. Love you, brother. See you, brother. Bye. Hold on. What's Poppy Wood doing here, though? He's got all these other coins in this shit now. <laughs> what is he saying? Vinyl DJ, promo only. Chef, Poppy, Wink, Tron, Live, Dice. Twilight, Bitcoin. All right, Poppy. <laughs> he changes his shit all the time. <laughs> all right. Look. What do we got here? BTC Tools. SWC Poker is now 3.0. Ah, oh, fuck off. Look, bang, see you, brother. Not fuck off. I just mean, I don't give a fuck about all that. Look, look, that we my subscribers are about. Look, CB Newswire, the millennial focus Sophie will offer trading in Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Litecoin next Tuesday and sources liquidity from Coinbase. Good. Look, look, great for them. Oh, this video he wanted me. Deep in Siberia, the city the city of Brakst is beginning to heat up. Mining hotels offer places for crypto miners to set up ASIC rigs and take advantage of cold temperatures and cheap electricity. <laughs> I know. I didn't actually watch it yet. I mean, whatever. Yeah, who gives a shit. But look. All right, and that's from yesterday. All right, bang. Let's get back to Wives and Lives. Well, I mean, let's do the other thing first. Shout out. I mean, daily summary. Bang. Look, look. Bang. Yeah. Welcome, welcome. All right, we had a great show for you today. So, eternity is used to track weed in Uruguay. Bang, bang, baby. Bang. Bang, bang, bang. Track that weed. Make sure it's pure. Make sure it's good. Yeah. Look, not much else to say about that. Now. UK regulators, oh, they want to ban the crypto derivatives. But remember this, it's only for um, individuals. 
They're going to allow the derivatives for institutional investors. And so that's what we need. Like, I understand. Like, to me, this does not bother me. This doesn't bother me because once all these institutions come, which is what I've been saying about the fucking SEC, yeah, well, we will have the liquidity. So you're not going to worry about market manipulation. And then fine, soccer mom and dad can come in and play. Yeah. So it doesn't bother me that they're dissing soccer mom and dad now. All that matters to me and all that should matter to you in this market is that we get institutional investors in here to give us our liquidity that we need. All right. So that these regulators stop crying. You know, I mean, if you're going to cry that, well, soccer mom and dad don't know about crypto. Like, like the, well, now you're just being an idiot. You know, fuck them. They shouldn't come here then. I mean, but I can understand the liquidity part. I understand not wanting them to be cheated out of their money. That's absolutely true. I told you guys about the Forex market when I started Forex. Tch, dudes are get, getting straight robbed from Greek, insti- uh, Greek uh, well, European Forex exchanges in general. If you were an American and you had a European account, they just took your money. They're like, fuck you, come over here and sue us. Knowing that you probably you know, couldn't afford that or take the time out of your life to do that. And so I get it. I get it. You don't want your citizens to be robbed, but yeah, which is fine. So fine. But as long as you let those institutions get in here. Yeah. So look, look. And then six launches a digital exchange prototype. Yes. Switzerland's making moves, and that's what I've been talking about. You know what I mean? I want to talk about, bye, there's Switzerland on our champion nation list. I want I want our champion nations to start fucking producing some fucking shit. Some investment vehicles, some on, on ramps, you know, onboarding ramps. Let's go. Let's go. So Switzerland, bang, see you, brother. Love you, brother. <laughs> Switzerland, you're not a brother, but look, look, all you guys, love you, brother, see you, brothers, bang, there we go. And so that's good. So that's good. All right. Well, look, look. So let's chill and kill it. Let's get you back to your wives and lives. Bang. Look, look. Subscribe below. Press the bell. You get automatic notifications when I do this show. The greatest show on earth. The greatest show in the multiverse. My name is Shamara Clark. I love talking money. love talking crypto. This is the favorite time of my day. Yes. I'm a market killer. Bang. So look, look. See you guys tomorrow. Thank you for having me in your home. See you guys tomorrow. A lot more crypto talk, more money talk. Look, look, my name's Shamar Clark. I'm always on duty. Bang! Yes. Over and out.